who, sir, is the greatest living painter in the world? Uh, today, Dolly. <laughs> but, uh, you know, uh, uh, modesty is not my speciality. I um, believe that today the best painter is Dali. Hi, I'm Kate Yakula. I'm here with StyleManitoba.com. Today we're at the Winnipeg Art Gallery looking at the Salvador Dali Up Close exhibit. The exhibit has actually been extended till February 22nd because of such a positive response. So we're today going to get a chance to look at some of the pieces and also visit with Dr. Stephen Boris, who is the director and CEO of the Winnipeg Art Gallery. We're here today at the Winnipeg Art Gallery with director Stephen Boris, and we're going to be talking about the Dali exhibit. Hi, Stephen. How are you? I'm very good, and welcome to the WAG. Thank you very much. So, for somebody who's not familiar with Salvador Dali or surrealism, how would you describe the exhibit? There's something here for everyone. It's probably one of the most accessible shows we've done because Dali was not just a great artist, actor, filmmaker, producer, impresario, businessman, that he thinks in so many different ways, and you see that thinking process coming up in his artwork. Nice, and you said there is something for everyone. There actually are some pieces of jewelry that Dali designed as well. Incredibly beautiful jewelry, and in fact, he moves from jewelry to sculpture to painting to drawings to prints, and there's not a period in his career that he's not experimenting with a new type of medium. Probably one of his most famous pieces, the um, Santiago El Grande, would you say it's the star of the exhibit? It's definitely the star of the, the show. It's also one of his greatest works, period. It's one of the largest, it's one of the most visually reproduced work in the, you know, the history of Dali's career. For the public, they don't really get to see behind the scenes from you setting up the exhibit and from its conception to when we actually visually view it. So what is that process? How long does it take to get this kind of exhibit of this caliber going well, we first knew we were taking the Beaverbrook show with the Dali paintings about three years ago. So the planning began, the negotiations to bring the show here, um, a lot of development, programming, education. But then the special Dali show came about in the last year where we worked with a number of important um, American lenders to bring a whole nother level of works here. So there was a lot of logistics involved. Bringing these works physically to the building takes a lot of work. Very nice. And we, some people who didn't have a chance to see the exhibit have another opportunity because it did get extended until February 22nd. So how did you make that decision or how were you able to extend it for that period of time? What's that process like? Well, we like to say due to popular demand and there was a demand, you know, we break, we broke over 30 5,000 visitors. What happens, we always have a little window between the time the works come down and they get shipped off. We negotiated with all of our lenders. We said the, 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 um, the excitement here is such that can we hold it over? And we were able to secure additional three weeks, which is pretty unprecedented. It's great. And you know, it's nice to think that school groups sold out. So not only um, people like you, different demographics, the K-12 to group are loving the show. There's something in it for them. And the extra three weeks has made it sweet for Winnipeggers because it gives them a chance to see works that rarely travel. The work behind us, the Santiago, rarely ever leaves its home. And so what is it about Dali? Because he's sort of the, the bad boy of the art world and he came before, um, before Andy Warhol, so he was sort of the, the father of, of pop, pop art. So what, what do you think it is about him that got people so excited? Yeah, I like to think of him as the grandfather of pop art. <laughs> but you know what got him excited? He rethought what we do with art, how we use art, how we look at art, how we understand it, and what is art. Mm -hmm. he, he helped us rethink, is a piece of jewelry a work of art? Is a film a work of art? Is a, is a stage set? Is a deck of cards? Is a piece of furniture? But because he was such a talented artist, he was an incredible technician and craftsman, he could paint incredibly beautiful works, but he could also create things, create ideas. He was always pushing himself and it's made art, I think, more accessible because we question ourselves. Well, what is art? What is good? What is bad? You know, the fact is, 
Everyone has a different taste, and that's what's nice about this show. It's, it's really something for everyone. That's awesome. So the piece behind us, I'm just wondering if we could maybe get on the carpet here, because you have this set up here <laughs> for, um, for the public to get a different perspective of the, of the painting. So yeah. should, should we check it out? We should check, sure. We should. So this perspective is amazing because the horse here actually looks like it could come out of the painting and trample all over us. It's exactly what he wanted to do. In fact, if he could have made this painting into a film, he would have. And you know, audiences are so inhibited in museums. So this is wonderful about Dali, that what we're doing now, this is exactly what we should be doing. That foot, you know, is Dali's foot. It's mm -hmm. a self-portrait. Um, and that, of course, is his wife down there in the lower right corner. But Dali never was far from his paintings, and there's always something of him in him. Well, thank you very much for having us here and checking out the Up Close Dali exhibit, and we will uh, we'll talk to you soon. Thanks very much. Thank you. We're here at the Winnipeg Art Gallery. And we just had an opportunity to look at the Salvador Dali Up Close exhibit. And now we're here with Tammy Sawatsky. She is the Public Relations Coordinator for the Art Gallery. And we're just going to ask you, what are some of the upcoming events and exhibits at the Art Gallery that people can look forward to in the next coming months? Mm -hmm. There's lo always lots going on here at the Art Gallery. We are excited to continue on with Dali Up Close here until February 22nd. And then we're eagerly anticipating the opening of Olympus, which opens to the public on on April 26th. In addition to that, we have several smaller exhibitions that run throughout the gallery. And because of our emphasis and our dedication to Inuit art, we are the largest uh, holder of contemporary art, Inuit art in the country, in the world. Um, we always have Inuit art on view, and one of the exciting pieces that we have opening next week on February 22nd is a 20-foot mural done by a 90-year-old uh, Nunavut artist. Her name is Elsipi Inukituk, and she put together a oil crayon drawing that's 20 feet long that shows kind of today and tomorrow uh, in the seasons of, of Nunavut uh, through this this mural that she has put together and so that's oh, coming that's, up. Sorry that's amazing that she's 90 she's years 90 old. Years old. She works on the floor <laughs> and and we have some photos of the mural in process and she's on the floor working on this and it's just a, it's wonderful to see she's a member of the Order of Canada uh, just a phenomenal woman and so we're very happy to to have this piece it's a piece that the WAG commissioned from her to do last year and it was completely completed in October and we're very happy to have that featured here. So the mural opens up on February 14th. Uh, another exciting piece that we have is Arctic Adaptations, Nineveh at 15, which was the Canadian uh, entry in the Venus Biennale architecture exhibition in Venice. And so it is showcasing the breadth and depth and the, the of Nineveh and through its 15 years since its inception. And it's architecture, it's carvings, it's maps, it's projections, it's showing architecture as opportunity. Uh, and so we're very pleased to, to house that and it opens on February 28th. So I just want to talk a little bit more about Olympus and um, mm -hmm. the exhibit. So that's really great because you have all the Greek and Roman pieces and so mm -hmm. That's a really nice transition from the past to the present because Absolutely. they really contributed a lot and influenced mm -hmm. our culture and our lives today. Absolutely. The amount of programming that our education department has put together for the duration of the exhibition is phenomenal. The exhibition is here in Winnipeg for 12 months, and so you've got 12 months of seminars, of lectures, of films. There's Percy Jackson films and books that are currently out, and we're housing, uh, hosting some of those. Uh, Greek and Roman culture permeates our, our everyday life and our everyday society, and so there are lectures and talks being held on theater, music, uh, language, architecture, sport, uh, mythology, um, literature. I mean, it's just so vast that the, the opportunities are endless for engagement and, and engagement with the public on such a phenomenal exhibition. That's wonderful. So there's something definitely for everyone. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Great. Well, thank you very much, Tammy. Thank we you. had a really great time at the Art Gallery, and I'm sure we will be back soon. This is Kate Ukulova, StyleManitoba.com. Thanks for watching. We had a really great day today here at the Winnipeg Art Gallery visiting the Salvador Dali Up Close exhibit, as well as the masterworks from the Beaverbrook Art Gallery. We'd like to thank the Winnipeg Art Gallery for having us today. We interviewed Tammy from the Public Relations Department as well as Stephen Boris, the Director and CEO. So thank you so much for having us. If you haven't had a chance to go check out the Dali exhibit, you can do that up until February 22nd. And I'm Kate from StyleManitoba.com. We'll see you soon.